A firearm is a portable gun, a barreled ranged weapon, that inflicts damage on targets by launching one or more projectiles driven by rapidly expanding high-pressure gas produced by exothermic combustion, deflagration, of propellant within an ammunition cartridge. If gas pressurization is not achieved via propellant combustion but through mechanical gas compression, then the gun is technically an air gun, not a firearm. The first primitive firearms originated in 10th century China when bamboo tubes containing gunpowder and pellet projectiles were mounted on spears into the one-person portable fire lance, which was later used as a shock weapon to good effect in the siege of Dun. In 13th century, the Chinese invented the metal-barreled hand cannon, widely considered to be the true ancestor of all firearms. The technology gradually spread through the rest of East Asia, South Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. Older firearms typically used black powder as a propellant, but modern firearms use smokeless powder or other propellants. Most modern firearms, with the notable exception of smoothbore shotguns, have rifled barrels to impart spin to the projectile for improved flight stability. Modern firearms can be described by their caliber, i.e. their bore diameter, this is given in millimeters or inches e.g. 7.5 millimeters, 0.357 inches, or in the case of shotguns their gauge, e.g. 12 ga, by the type of action employed, muzzle, breech, lever, bolt, pump, revolver, semi-automatic, automatic etc., together with the usual means of deportment, handheld or mechanical mounting. Further classification may make reference to the type of barrel used, rifled, and to the barrel length, 24 inch, to the firing mechanism, e.g. match lock, wheel lock, flint lock, percussion lock, to the design's primary intended use, e.g. hunting rifle, or to the commonly accepted name for a particular variation, e.g. Gatling gun. Shooters aim firearms at their targets with hand-eye coordination, using either iron sights or optical sights. The accurate range of pistols generally does not exceed 110 yards, 100 m, while most rifles are accurate to 550 yards, 500 m, using iron sights, or to longer ranges using optical sights. Firearm rounds may be dangerous or lethal well beyond their accurate range. The minimum distance for safety is much greater than specified range. Purpose-built sniper rifles and anti-materiel rifles are accurate to ranges of more than 2,200 yards, 2,000 m. Types of firearms Firearms include a variety of ranged weapons and there is no agreed-upon definition. Many soldiers consider a firearm to be any ranged weapon that uses gunpowder or a derivative as a propellant. Configuration Handguns The smallest of all firearms is the handgun. There are two common types of handguns, revolvers and semi-automatic pistols. Revolvers have a number of firing chambers or charge holes in a revolving cylinder, each chamber in the cylinder is loaded with a single cartridge or charge. Semi-automatic pistols have a single fixed firing chamber machined into the rear of the barrel, and a magazine so they can be used to fire more than one round. Each press of the trigger fires a cartridge using the energy of the cartridge to activate the mechanism so that the next cartridge may be fired immediately. This is opposed to double-action revolvers which accomplish the same end using a mechanical action linked to the trigger pull. Prior to the 19th century, virtually all handguns were single-shot muzzle loaders. With the invention of the revolver in 1818, handguns capable of holding multiple rounds became popular. Certain designs of auto-loading pistol appeared beginning in the 1870s and had largely supplanted revolvers in military applications by the end of World War I. By the end of the 20th century, most handguns carried regularly by military, police and civilians were semi-automatic, although revolvers were still widely used. Generally speaking, military and police forces use semi-automatic pistols due to their high magazine capacities and ability to rapidly reload by simply removing the empty magazine and inserting a loaded one. Revolvers are very common among handgun hunters because revolver cartridges are usually more powerful than similar caliber semi-automatic pistol cartridges, which are designed for self-defense, and the strength, simplicity, and durability of the revolver design is well suited to outdoor use. Revolvers 
especially in .22 LR and 38 Special 357 Magnum, are also common concealed weapons in jurisdictions allowing this practice because their simple mechanics make them smaller than many auto loaders while remaining reliable. Both designs are common among civilian gun owners, depending on the owner's intention, self-defense, hunting, target shooting, competitions, collecting, etc. Long Guns a long gun is generally any firearm that is larger than a handgun and is designed to be held and fired with both hands, either from the hip or the shoulder. Long guns typically have a barrel between 10 and 30 inches, there are restrictions on minimum barrel length in many jurisdictions, maximum barrel length is usually a matter of practicality, that along with the receiver and trigger group is mounted into a wood, plastic, metal, or composite stock composed of one or more pieces that form a foregrip, rear grip, and optionally, but typically, a shoulder mount called the butt. Early long arms, from the Renaissance up to the mid-19th century, were generally smooth-bore firearms that fired one or more ball shot, called muskets. Rifles and Shotguns Most modern long guns are either rifles or shotguns. Both are the successors of the musket, diverging from their parent weapon in distinct ways. A rifle is so named for the spiral fluting, rifling, machined into the inner surface of its barrel, which imparts a self-stabilizing spin to the single bullets it fires. Shotguns are predominantly smooth-bore firearms designed to fire a number of shot, pellet sizes commonly ranging between 2mm No. 9 bird shot and 8.4mm No. 00, double aught, buckshot. Shotguns are also capable of firing single slugs, or specialty, often less lethal, rounds such as bean bags, tear gas, or breaching rounds. Rifles have a very small impact area but a long range and high accuracy. Shotguns have a large impact area with considerably less range and accuracy. However, the larger impact area can compensate for reduced accuracy, since shot spreads during flight, consequently, in hunting, shotguns are generally used for flying game. Rifles and shotguns are commonly used for hunting and often to defend a home or place of business. Usually, large game are hunted with rifles, although shotguns can be used, particularly with slugs, while birds are hunted with shotguns. Shotguns are sometimes preferred for defending a home or business due to their wide impact area, multiple wound tracks, when using buckshot, shorter range, and reduced penetration of walls, when using lighter shot which significantly reduces the likelihood of unintended harm, although the handgun is also common. There are a variety of types of rifles and shotguns based on the method they are reloaded. Bolt action and lever action rifles are manually operated. Manipulation of the bolt or the lever causes the spent cartridge to be removed, the firing mechanism recocked, and a fresh cartridge inserted. These two types of action are almost exclusively used by rifles. Slide action, commonly called pump action, rifles and shotguns are manually cycled by shuttling the foregrip of the firearm back and forth. This type of action is typically used by shotguns, but several major manufacturers make rifles that use this action. Both rifles and shotguns also come in brake action varieties that do not have any kind of reloading mechanism at all but must be hand-loaded after each shot. Both rifles and shotguns come in single and double-barreled varieties, however due to the expense and difficulty of manufacturing, double-barreled rifles are rare. Double-barreled rifles are typically intended for African big-game hunts where the animals are dangerous, ranges are short, and speed is of the essence. Very large and powerful calibers are normal for these firearms. Rifles have been in nationally featured marksmanship events in Europe and the United States since at least the 18th century, when rifles were first becoming widely available. One of the earliest purely American rifle shooting competitions took place in 1775, when Daniel Morgan was recruiting sharpshooters in Virginia for the impending American Revolutionary War. In some countries, rifle marksmanship is still a matter of national pride. Some specialized rifles in the larger calibers are claimed to have an accurate range of up to about 1 mile, 1,600 m, although most have considerably less. In the second half of the 20th century, competitive shotgun sports became perhaps even more popular than riflery, 
largely due to the motion and immediate feedback in activities such as skeet, trap, and sporting clays. In military use, bolt-action rifles with high power scopes are common as sniper rifles, however by the Korean War the traditional bolt-action and semi-automatic rifles used by infantrymen had been supplemented by select fire designs known as automatic rifles. Carbines A carbine is a firearm similar to a rifle in form and intended usage, but generally shorter or smaller than the typical full-size hunting or battle rifle of similar time period and sometimes using a smaller or less powerful cartridge. Carbines were and are typically used by members of the military in roles that are expected to engage in combat, but where a full-size rifle would be an impediment to the primary duties of that soldier, vehicle drivers, field commanders and support staff, airborne troops, engineers, etc. Carbines are also common in law enforcement and among civilian owners where similar size, space, and slash or power concerns may exist. Carbines, like rifles, can be single shot, repeating action, semi automatic, or select fire slash fully automatic, generally depending on the time period and intended market. Common historical examples include the Winchester Model 1892, Lee Enfield Jungle Carbine, SKS. M1 carbine, no relation to the larger M1 Garand, and M4 carbine, a more compact variant of the current M16 rifle. Modern U.S. civilian carbines include compact customizations of the AR-15, Ruger Mini-14, Beretta CX-4 Storm, Caltech Sub-2000, bolt-action rifles generally falling under the specifications of a scout rifle and aftermarket conversion kits for popular pistols including the M1911 and Glock models. Machine Guns A machine gun is a fully automatic and placeable weapon, most often separated from other classes of automatic weapon by the use of belt-fed ammunition, though some designs employ drum, pan or hopper magazines, generally in a rifle-inspired caliber ranging between 5.56x45mm NATO, .223 Remington, for a light machine gun to as large as 0.50 BMG or even larger for crude or aircraft weapons. Although not widely fielded until World War I, early machine guns were being used by militaries in the second half of the 19th century. Notables in the U.S. arsenal during the 20th century included the M2 Browning .50 caliber heavy machine gun and M1919 Browning .30 caliber medium machine gun and the M607.62 times 51 mm NATO general purpose machine gun which came into use around the Vietnam War. Machine guns of this type were originally defensive firearms crewed by at least two men, mainly because of the difficulties involved in moving and placing them, their ammunition, and their tripod. In contrast, modern light machine guns such as the FN Minimi are often wielded by a single infantryman. They provide a large ammunition capacity and a high rate of fire, and are typically used to give suppressing fire during infantry movement. Accuracy on machine guns varies based on a wide number of factors from design to manufacturing tolerances, most of which have been improved over time. Machine guns are often mounted on vehicles or helicopters, and have been used since World War I as offensive firearms in fighter aircraft and tanks e.g. for air combat or suppressing fire for ground troop support. The definition of machine gun is different in U.S. law. The National Firearms Act and Firearm Owners Protection Act define a machine gun in the United States Code Title 26, Subtitle E, Chapter 53, Subchapter B, Part 1, 5845 as, any firearm which shoots, automatically more than one shot, without manual reloading, by a single function of the trigger. Machine gun is therefore largely synonymous with automatic weapon in the U.S. civilian parlance, covering all automatic firearms. Submachine guns A submachine gun is a magazine-fed firearm, usually smaller than other automatic firearms, that fires pistol-caliber ammunition, for this reason certain submachine guns can also be referred to as machine pistols especially when referring to handgun-sized designs such as the Corpion VZ-61 and Glock 18. Well-known examples are the Israeli Uzi and Heckler and Cook MP5 which use the 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge, 
and the American Thompson submachine gun which fires .45 ACP. Because of their small size and limited projectile penetration compared to high-power rifle rounds, submachine guns are commonly favored by military, paramilitary and police forces for close quarters engagements such as inside buildings, in urban areas or in trench complexes. Submachine guns were originally about the size of carbines. Because they fire pistol ammunition, they have limited long-range use, but in close combat can be used in fully automatic in a controllable manner due to the lighter recoil of the pistol ammunition. They are also extremely inexpensive and simple to build in time of war, enabling a nation to quickly arm its military. In the latter half of the 20th century, submachine guns were being miniaturized to the point of being only slightly larger than some large handguns. The most widely used submachine gun at the end of the 20th century was the Heckler and Cook MP5. The MP5 is actually designated as a machine pistol by Heckler and Cook. MP5 stands for Maskinen Pistoli 5, or Machine Pistol 5, although some reserve this designation for even smaller submachine guns such as the Mac 10 and Glock 18, which are about the size and shape of pistols. Automatic Rifles an automatic rifle is a magazine-fed firearm, wielded by a single infantryman, that is chambered for rifle cartridges and capable of automatic fire. The M1918 Browning automatic rifle was the first U.S. infantry weapon of this type, and was generally used for suppressive or support fire in the role now usually filled by the light machine gun. Other early automatic rifles include the Fedorov Avtomat and the Hewitt automatic rifle. Later. German forces fielded the Sturmschwer 44 during World War II, a light automatic rifle firing a reduced power intermediate cartridge. This design was to become the basis for the assault rifle subclass of automatic weapons, as contrasted with battle rifles, which generally fire a traditional full power rifle cartridge. Assault rifles In World War II, Germany introduced the STG 44 and brought to the forefront of firearm technology what eventually became the class of firearm most widely adopted by the military, the assault rifle. An assault rifle is usually slightly smaller than a battle rifle such as the Carabiner 98K, but the chief differences defining an assault rifle are select fire capability and the use of a rifle round of lesser power, known as an intermediate cartridge. In modern usage an assault rifle may also be a semi-automatic rifle designed to look like a fully automatic rifle while only firing one round per trigger pull. Soviet engineer Mikhail Kalashnikov quickly adapted the German concept, using a less powerful 7.62x39mm cartridge derived from the standard 7.62x54mm R Russian battle rifle round, to produce the AK-47 which has become the world's most widely used assault rifle. Soon after World War II, the automatic Kalashnikov AK-47 assault rifle began to be fielded by the Soviet Union and its allies in the Eastern Bloc, as well as by nations such as China, North Korea, and North Vietnam. In the United States, the assault rifle design was later in coming, the replacement for the M1 Garand of World War II was another John Garand design chambered for the new 7.62x51mm NATO cartridge, the Select Fire M14, which was used by the U.S. military until the 1960s. The significant recoil of the M14 when fired in full automatic mode was seen as a problem as it reduced accuracy, and in the 1960s it was replaced by Eugene Stoner's AR-15 which also marked a switch from the powerful .30 caliber cartridges used by the U.S. military up until early in the Vietnam War to the much less powerful but far lighter and light recoiling .223 caliber, 5.56 mm, intermediate cartridge. The military later designated the AR-15 as the M-16. The civilian version of the M-16 continues to be known as the AR-15 and looks exactly like the military version, although to conform to BATFE regulations in the U.S., it lacks the mechanism that permits fully automatic fire. Variants of both of the M16 and AK-47 are still in wide international use today, though other automatic rifle designs have since been introduced. A smaller version of the M16A2, the M4 carbine, is widely used by U.S. and NATO tank and vehicle crews, airborne's, support staff, and in other scenarios where space is limited. The IMI Galil, 
an Israeli-designed weapon based on the action of the AK-47, is in use by Israel, Italy, Burma, the Philippines, Peru, and Colombia. Swiss Arms of Switzerland produces the SIG SG-550 assault rifle used by France, Chile, and Spain among others, and Stair Mannlicher produces the AUG, a bullpup rifle in use in Austria, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and Saudi Arabia among other nations. Modern designs call for compact weapons retaining firepower. The bullpup design, by mounting the magazine behind the trigger, unifies the accuracy and firepower of the traditional assault rifle with the compact size of the submachine gun, though submachine guns are still used, examples are the French FAMAS and the British SA-80. Personal Defense Weapons A recently developed class of firearm is the Personal Defense Weapon or PDW, which is in simplest terms a submachine gun designed to fire ammunitions with ballistic performance similar to rifle cartridges. While a submachine gun is desirable for its compact size and ammunition capacity, its pistol cartridges lack the penetrating capability of a rifle round. Conversely, rifle bullets can pierce light armor and are easier to shoot accurately, but even a carbine such as the Colt M4 is larger and slash or longer than a submachine gun, making it harder to maneuver in close quarters. The solution many firearms manufacturers have presented is a weapon resembling a submachine gun in size and general configuration, but which fires a higher-powered armor-penetrating round, often specially designed for the weapon, thus combining the advantages of a carbine and submachine gun. This also earned the PDWs an infrequently used nickname the submachine carbines. The FNP90 and Heckler and Cook MP7 are most famous examples of PDWs. Function Firearms are also categorized by their functioning cycle or action which describes its loading, firing, and unloading cycle. Manual The earliest evolution of the firearm, there are many types of manual action firearms. These can be divided into two basic categories, single shot and repeating. A single shot firearm can only be fired once per equipped barrel before it must be reloaded or charged via an external mechanism or series of steps. A repeating firearm can be fired multiple times, but can only be fired once with each subsequent pull of the trigger. Between trigger pulls, the firearm's action must be reloaded or charged via an internal mechanism. Semi-automatic a semi-automatic, self-loading, or auto-loader firearm is one that performs all steps necessary to prepare it for firing again after a single discharge, until cartridges are no longer available in the weapon's feed device or magazine. Auto-loaders fire one shot with each pull of the trigger. Some people confuse the term with fully automatic firearms. See next. While some semi-automatic rifles may resemble military-style firearms, they are not properly classified assault weapons which refers to those that continue to fire until the finger no longer depressed the trigger. Automatic An automatic firearm, or fully automatic, fully auto, or full auto, is generally defined as one that continues to load and fire cartridges from its magazine as long as the trigger is depressed, and until the magazine is depleted of available ammunition. The first weapon generally considered in this category is the Gatling gun, originally a carriage-mounted, crank-operated firearm with multiple rotating barrels that was fielded in the American Civil War. The modern trigger-actuated machine gun began with various designs developed in the late 19th century and fielded in World War I, such as the Maxim gun, Lewis gun, and MG-0H Bondau. Most automatic weapons are classed as long guns, as the ammunition used is of similar type as for rifles, and the recoil of the weapon's rapid fire is better controlled with two hands, but handgun-sized automatic weapons also exist, generally in the submachine gun or machine pistol class. Selective fire Selective fire, or select fire, means the capability of a weapon's fire control to be adjusted in either semi-automatic or fully automatic firing modes. The modes are chosen by means of a selector, which varies depending on the weapon's design. Some selective fire weapons have burst fire mechanisms built in to limit the maximum number of shots fired in fully automatic mode, with most common limits being two or three rounds per trigger pull. 
the presence of selective fire modes on firearms allows more efficient use of ammunition for specific tactical needs, either precision aimed or suppressive fire. This capability is most commonly found on military weapons of the 20th and 21st centuries, most notably the assault rifles. Health Effects Assault by firearm resulted in 173,000 deaths in 2015 up from 128,000 deaths in 1990. There was an additionally 32,000 unintentional firearm deaths in 2015. History The first primitive firearms were invented about 1,250 AD in China when the man portable fire lance, a bamboo or metal tube that could shoot ignited gunpowder, was combined with projectiles such as scrap metal, broken porcelain, or darts slash arrows. The earliest depiction of a firearm is a sculpture from a cave in Sichuan, China. The sculpture dates to the 12th century and is of a figure carrying a vase-shaped bombard with flames and a cannonball coming out of it. 3132 The oldest surviving gun, a hand cannon made of bronze, has been dated to 1288 because it was discovered at a site in modern-day Aiken district. Heilongjiang, China, where the Yuan Shi records that battles were fought at that time. The firearm had a 6.9-inch barrel of a 1-inch diameter, a 2.6-inch chamber for the gunpowder and a socket for the firearm's handle. It is 13.4 inches long and 7.8 pounds without the handle, which would have been made of wood 32. The Europeans and Arabs, first Mamluks, obtained firearms in the 14th century when the Koreans adopted firearms from the Chinese in the 14th century. The Turks, Iranians, first AQ Koyunlu and Safavids, and Indians, first Mughals, all got them no later than the 15th century. In each case directly or indirectly from the Europeans. The Japanese did not acquire firearms until the 16th century, and then from the Portuguese rather than the Chinese 3132. The development behind firearms accelerated during the 19th and 20th centuries. Breech loading became more or less a universal standard for the reloading of most handheld firearms and continues to be so with some notable exceptions, such as mortars. Instead of loading individual rounds into weapons, magazines holding multiple munitions were adopted these aided rapid reloading. Automatic and semi-automatic firing mechanisms meant that a single soldier could fire many more rounds in a minute than a vintage weapon could fire over the course of a battle. Polymers and alloys in firearm construction made weaponry progressively lighter and thus easier to deploy. Ammunition changed over the centuries from simple metallic ball-shaped projectiles that rattled down the barrel to bullets and cartridges manufactured to high precision. Especially in the past century has particular attention been devoted to accuracy and sighting to make firearms altogether far more accurate than ever before. More than any single factor though, firearms have proliferated due to the advent of mass production enabling arms manufacturers to produce large quantities of weaponry to a consistent standard. The force of a projectile is related to the kinetic energy imparted to it given by the formula backslash display style e underscore backslash text k equals backslash t frac 1 2 mv 2 e underscore backslash text k equals backslash t frac 1 2 mv 2 where backslash display style mm is the mass and backslash display style vv is the velocity of the projectile. Generally, kinetic energy can be enhanced in two ways. By increasing the mass of the bullet, either by increasing caliber, and thus size and weight, or by using denser materials like uranium or tungsten. By increasing the projectile's velocity, through better or larger propellant charges, through better manufacturing tolerances and materials in bullet and barrel, or through longer barrels. Velocities of bullets increased with the use of a jacket of a metal such as copper or copper alloys that covered a lead core and allowed the bullet to glide down the barrel more easily than exposed lead. Such bullets are designated as full metal jacket, FMJ. Such FMJ bullets are less likely to fragment on impact and are more likely to traverse through a target while imparting less energy. Hence, FMJ bullets impart less tissue damage than non-jacketed bullets that expand. Doherty and Knight, 2009, this led to their adoption for military use by countries adhering to the Hague Convention in 1899. That said, the basic principle behind firearm operation remains unchanged to this day. 
A musket of several centuries ago is still similar in principle to a modern-day assault rifle using the expansion of gases to propel projectiles over long distances albeit less accurately and rapidly. Evolution Early Models Fire Lances The Chinese fire lance was the direct predecessor to the modern concept of the firearm. It was not a gun itself, but an addition to the soldier's spears. Originally it consisted of paper or bamboo barrels that would have incendiary gunpowder within it, that could be lit one time and would project flames at the enemy. Sometimes the Chinese troops would place small projectiles within the barrel that would also be projected when the gunpowder was lit, but most of the explosive force would create flames. Later, the barrel was changed to be made of metal, so that a more explosive gunpowder could be used and put more force into the propulsion of the projectile 3132. Hand Cannons The original predecessor of all firearms, the Chinese fire lance and hand cannon were loaded with gunpowder and the shot, initially lead shot, later replaced by cast iron, through the muzzle, while a fuse was placed at the rear. This fuse was lit, causing the gunpowder to ignite and propel the cannonball. In military use, the standard hand cannon was tremendously powerful, while also being somewhat useless due to relative inability of the gunner to aim the weapon, or control the ballistic properties of the projectile. Recoil could be absorbed by bracing the barrel against the ground using a wooden support, the forerunner of the stock. Neither the amount of gunpowder, nor the consistency in projectile dimensions were controlled, with resulting inaccuracy in firing due to windage, and due to the difference in diameter between the bore and the shot. The hand cannons were replaced by lighter carriage-mounted artillery pieces, and ultimately the arquebus. Muskets Muzzle-loading muskets, smooth-bored long guns, were among the first firearms developed. The firearm was loaded through the muzzle with gunpowder, optionally some wadding and then a bullet, usually a solid lead ball, but musketeers could shoot stones when they ran out of bullets. Greatly improved muzzle loaders, usually rifled instead of smoothboard, are manufactured today and have many enthusiasts, many of whom hunt large and small game with their guns. Muzzle loaders have to be manually reloaded after each shot, a skilled archer could fire multiple arrows faster than most early muskets could be reloaded and fired, although by the mid-18th century, when muzzle loaders became the standard small armament of the military, a well-drilled soldier could fire six rounds in a minute using prepared cartridges in his musket. Before then, effectiveness of muzzle loaders was hindered by both the low reloading speed and, before the firing mechanism was perfected, the very high risk posed by the firearm to the person attempting to fire it. One interesting solution to the reloading problem was the Roman candle gun with superposed loads. This was a muzzle loader in which multiple charges and balls were loaded one on top of the other, with a small hole in each ball to allow the subsequent charge to be ignited after the one ahead of it was ignited. It was neither a very reliable nor popular firearm, but it enabled a form of automatic. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.